Hi, um, this is just a quick tutorial on how to export something out of Jashaka because it's a question I keep getting asked so I thought I might as well make a video on it so people can be pretty clear about what it is. So I'm in the animation module, I've just made a quick animation. Uh, what I'd do first is I'd export it out, so I'd click over here. And as you can see it will very slowly export it out. That's simply because I'm screen recording at the moment, otherwise it doesn't take that long. So once we export it out, if we go to desktop, as you can see it's come up twice. The reason is because I've already done this once and uh, so this is our video we've just exported out. Right, so there's a bunch of ways to get it out of Shark now. You can click on encoder. What the encoder will do will allow you to set either a power or NTSC format. Um, what codec you want to use? So you've got raw DV, DivX, etc. And then it's asking, is it going to be what resolution basically? So you've got widescreen, you've got uh, standard SD, I think, whatever it is. Uh, the only thing about that one is that it tends to crash. Then there's a second option which says export clip. If you export the clip, what will happen is is that you will get a folder with every single frame as an individual picture file. I suppose it's good for certain circumstances, but obviously in this case you want a video file. So the easiest way to do it is to go into editing. If it ever loads up. Drag your clip into your editing module. If you can't see it by the way, on the right hand side here, third button up, click that, it recenters everything. Click it again and zoom out. There we go. So as you can see this is our video, if it ever loads. It's obviously playing quite slow simply because of the screen capture. But there's our video. And now to export that, so if you're in any other module, so animation, effects, paint and text, when you click on the render icon it brings it back to the desktop module. But in the editing module, when you click on the render, it gives you that same dialog that it gave you that I showed in the encoding module. So I I normally choose DivX because it seems to give me the best quality. So this is I've done this at Power DV, so 4.3 fixed quality. I'm gonna click on OK. I'm gonna get it to find me a Place, and I'm going to call it, I don't know, uh, countdown. countdown. I'm going to click on save. And then you'll get this dialog box coming up. Now, as you can see here, it's called countdown.avi. So, an AVI file should work pretty much on any single computer. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> So I have now got a AVI file. So there we go. We've got a video file now working perfectly fine. So if you want to now upload this to YouTube, so here I'm on YouTube, click on upload. Click on upload video. So I navigate to where it is now. It was called a countdown, so and there you go, I can just upload that as I wish and it will upload it, in fact you can see it's uploading very very quickly and that is how you upload a video to export a video outside of Shark and upload it to YouTube. If anyone has any questions uh, please let me know and I'll see what I can do. Thank you